Crybaby is a character that is based off of myself. When I was younger, I got picked on for taking things very personally and being overly emotional and, and expressing that always. Like, I was never afraid to express emotion, and I think that over the years, I've realized that it is a strength, you know, being this in touch with your feelings and stuff. A lot of people can't go that deep, you know? So I wanted to basically bring you know life into this character that is this nickname that I got called when I was a kid that was supposed to be an insult but I wanted to turn it into a compliment. In the beginning of the album Cry Baby is the first track. With that song I wanted to introduce people to the character so the song Cry Baby is an introduction to who she is and how she feels. The next track is Dollhouse and Dollhouse is her family life, just, you know, how she grew up. And Sippy Cup is the third one, and that's a deeper look into kind of her family life and, like, really just, like, how they deal with things. Like, my family life's so different than hers. So I had a really great childhood, and, like, my family's super supportive and always have, has been, so very different. And in Cry Baby Story, her mom is an alcoholic, and her father is cheating on her mom with someone else, so had a different meaning than just, you know, a, a fucked up family, you know? It wasn't about that for me personally. Dollhouse was just like how everyone has their problems and you're never gonna truly see them, you know? Like there's always gonna be this kind of like front to everything. So you think that things are perfect, but everyone has, you know, shit that they go through. So Carousel um, is her first like love encounter. So it's like the first boy that she falls in love with and she realizes that it's kind of, you know, doing this the whole time and she feels like she's kind of just stuck in the same place with him and she can't really like, grow or go anywhere so the next song after that is her breakup song and it's Alphabet Boy and Alphabet Boy for me was inspired by an actual relationship me wanting to basically say you to a dude that broke my heart it was one of the hardest songs to write just because it was super like lyrical now like looking at that um, I realize that I don't have any connection to that song anymore just because I don't care about that boy anymore so it's really funny like talking about it um, after that is soap and in my life this is when I you know started talking to a new boy you know it was really hard for me to explain or tell him how I felt because I was scared of how he would react so I just felt like I needed to wash out my mouth with soap and like constantly like hide how I felt. Then after that is Training Wheels, and Training Wheels is the uh, the love song of the album, and it's like the only real like love song that I've ever <laughs> written. Genuinely, I was very happy when writing it uh, in the moment, which is a very rare uh, emotion to like express in my music. <laughs> it's always usually sad or angry, or um, just because music is like therapy for me, and I, that's kind of how I just like get rid of those emotions.